No role. UN General Assembly snubs Harry's request to speak, chooses Prince William instead. In a world where celebrity and royalty often collide, the dynamics of public perception and media coverage can shift dramatically with a single decision. Imagine a high-stakes moment at the United Nations General Assembly, where two prominent figures of British royalty stand at the crossroads of influence and advocacy. On one side, we have Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, who has carved out a niche in philanthropy and mental health awareness. On the other, his brother, Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, a steadfast figure in royal tradition and public service. The stage was set for a monumental moment, until the UN made its stunning choice. Prince William was invited to speak, while Harry's request was quietly sidelined. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. What does this decision reveal about the ongoing rift within the royal family? How does it affect the brothers' public images and their respective advocacy efforts? As we delve into this unfolding narrative, we uncover layers of familial tension, public expectation, and the evolving role of modern monarchy in humanitarian discourse. Prince Harry and Prince William's relationship has been under the microscope for years, exacerbated by the pressures of royal life and the media's relentless scrutiny. After stepping back from royal duties in 2020, Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, relocated to California, seeking privacy and autonomy. Meanwhile, William and his wife, Kate Middleton, have remained firmly entrenched in their royal roles, representing the monarchy's continuity. While both brothers share a commitment to mental health and charitable work, their approaches have diverged significantly. Harry's candidness about his struggles and advocacy for mental health awareness has resonated with many, especially younger audiences. In contrast, William has focused on the institutional aspects of charity, emphasizing the importance of stability and tradition. This divergence became even more pronounced during the UN General Assembly decision. Many expected that Harry's recent initiatives, including the launch of the Archwell Foundation, would earn him a prominent platform at such a global event. However, the UN's preference for William raised eyebrows and sparked debates about the nature of royal influence in modern advocacy. The UN General Assembly is not just another gathering. It is a critical platform for addressing global issues, from climate change to human rights. The decision to invite Prince William over Prince Harry can be interpreted in various ways. William's presence at the UN signifies a preference for continuity and stability, qualities that the royal family has long embodied. In contrast, Harry's more progressive, sometimes controversial, approach challenges royal traditions. The UN's choice may reflect a desire to align with established institutions and traditional values at a time when the world is grappling with significant challenges. The media plays a pivotal role in shaping public opinion about the royal family. William has often been portrayed as the responsible elder brother, committed to his duties and the monarchy. Conversely, Harry has faced a more mixed reception, often framed through the lens of rebellion against royal norms. The UN's decision can be seen as a reinforcement of this narrative, positioning William as the safe choice in a politically charged environment. The implications of this decision extend beyond mere appearances. They resonate deeply within the realm of advocacy. Harry's advocacy work has always been deeply personal. His openness about mental health issues, stemming from his experiences of loss and trauma, allows him to connect with audiences on a relatable level. By sidelining him at such a significant event, the UN may have inadvertently muted a powerful voice advocating for mental health awareness and support. While Harry has successfully leveraged media and public platforms to further his causes, the UN snub raises questions about the effectiveness of his advocacy without traditional royal backing. Can he continue to inspire change without the institutional support that comes with his title? On the other hand, William's role at the UN emphasizes the importance of tradition in royal advocacy. He has consistently highlighted issues such as mental health, conservation, and homelessness through established channels. By speaking at the UN, he reinforces the monarchy's commitment to global issues while maintaining a sense of continuity that appeals to traditionalists. However, this also places William in a challenging position. As he represents the monarchy, 
He must balance the expectations of royal duties with the pressing need for progressive action on emerging global issues. The pressure to remain relevant while honoring tradition is a delicate dance.